Hello and welcome to Be One with Benjamin, the channel that wants to help you learn English and practice perfection. Today's video is going to be a story about my trip to Kenya. In this video, I'm going to be using language around travel and the natural world and animals. Okay, so this will hopefully give you practice listening to someone speaking about ways of traveling, things that happen while traveling, and the added addition of the animals that I saw while on safari, which was amazing. Okay, so let's go straight into the story. So we drove to the airport in London and parked the car in the car park. We went to check-in and we dropped off our bags. Then we went through security, we got ourselves some lunch, we ate lunch while we waited for our gate to be announced, and then we went to the gate. We waited a little bit more and then we boarded the plane ready for our flight. The plane took off at around midday and the flight lasted for around eight hours. When we arrived in Nairobi, we had to wait at immigration where we passed our visas over to the immigration officer. When we were in Nairobi, we drove to an elephant orphanage, which is a charitable organization, which I will mention below in the comments, which takes in orphaned elephants for various reasons and brings them up and helps to release them back into the wild, back into the large national reserves in Kenya. This place was amazing and we got to meet both amazing people and baby elephants and they are so cute. After this, we drove to the Masai Mara National Reserve. While on safari, we saw everything. It is the most beautiful landscape, but obviously it's also full of life. Not how you would expect, like the Lion King, um, where you're seeing animals all the time. There were some times where we were driving around and we saw almost nothing. But when we did see something, it was incredible. Now I'm going to give you a list of the animals we saw and some pictures for the animals so that you can see them and understand which animals I'm talking about. Then you have the name for the animal and you can practice the name in English. When I introduce the animals, I'm going to say them in singular and plural, okay? So here we go with the list. Antelope or antelopes. Warthog or warthogs. Zebra or zebras. Ostrich or ostriches. Monkey or monkeys. Bird or birds. Mongoose or mongooses, rabbit or rabbits. We saw, surprisingly, a hedgehog or hedgehogs. We saw hyena or hyenas, a jackal or jackals. We saw a serval or servals. Crocodile or crocodiles, hippopotamus or hippopotamuses, or some people say hippo or hippos, giraffe or giraffes. We saw a cheetah or some cheetahs. We then saw what's called the big five. Now this includes a buffalo or buffaloes. We saw a lion or lions. We saw elephant or elephants. We saw a leopard or leopards. And we saw, most impressively of all, a rhinoceros or some rhinoceroses. Now, a lot of people will say rhino or rhinos. After our safari, we drove back to Nairobi via a giraffe sanctuary where we got to meet some giraffes up close and personal. We were able to feed them and we were able to have cuddles with the giraffes as well. We then got a train to Mombasa on the coast of Kenya and from there we drove to the south of the coast via a car ferry 
a boat that carries cars across the river and then we arrive for the final part of our trip. When we were staying here we went to a monkey sanctuary, a conservation charity that is helping to save monkeys caught in what's called human wildlife conflict. Finally we took two planes home. The first plane we saw very luckily the top of Mount Kilimanjaro as we were flying back to Nairobi and then from Nairobi we had an overnight flight back to London. I hope you enjoyed this story about our journey and our safari experience. I can recommend it to everyone. It is amazing and seeing animals in their natural habitat is incredible. If you liked this video please Comment, like or subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.